patreon.com slash the walk off podcast uh, $4 a month gets you in there. I just want to go back to Brandon Belt because he said something yeah. interesting uh, that perked my ears up. So you, you, you project him to be everyday DH versus right handed hit pitchers kind of thing. Roughly, what are we talking? 100, 120 games. He's the DH. You know, again, assuming health, assuming the knee holds up. Is that what we're talking I mean, here? Yeah. I mean, having said that, as soon as as soon as I said that, I realized, don't forget Alejandro Kirk. You've got to get Alejandro Kirk yeah. and Danny Bat in there. So let me kind of pull back on that a bit and so say the- that I think he will get the majority of his playing time um, at DH. So a lot will depend on how the Jays split up the – you know, the catching situation. I can see, frankly, I can see Dalton Varsho catching games for the Jays okay. uh, at, at, at certain times. But I, I guess what I would say is I think Brandon Belt's, his primary focus will be, you know, spelling off Vladdy at first base. And I would think he would. Do you think he gets some time in left field, Jeff? First, pardon me? Do you think he gets some time in left field? Uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know, because the, the days that Dalton Varsho goes behind the play, um, whenever those days are, somebody's going to have to play the outfield. I'm See, I'm not convinced that they're done, and I, and I think Shai has written about this as well, and maybe Ben has. I, I'm not convinced that they're done making moves yet. I think they still need another outfielder, um, uh, you know, another outfielder that fits their p- particular offensive profile. You know, it's, I found it interesting that it, when our interview with Dalton Varsho, he was talking about the Blue Jays infield and talking about the, you know, guys he was happy to be with and all this stuff. And he mentioned Whit Merrifield as the second baseman. And, and I'm wondering if maybe we're not going to see Santiago Espinal at some point in spring training maybe move to fill, fill a need for this team. And I, I, I think absent pitching they could certainly use more relievers i mean everybody could use more relievers but i think this team absolutely has to add more arms to the bullpen um i, I can see them maybe adding another outfielder that, I mean, there are a couple of internal options I, I don't know what to make of nathan lucas he's a guy that will be coming into spring training he's a guy the jays had all year in triple a and everybody kept saying why aren't you going to bring him up why aren't you going to bring him up they didn't bring him up he might factor in as a bench spot he's certainly a guy who could play uh who could who could play the outfield and, and spell off Dalton Varsho but uh yeah I, and he's on the 40-man roster correct yes yes yeah and I, I guess I would I guess the easiest thing with Brandon Belt is I foresee him as a left-handed DH but I don't know how much playing time he would uh like I wouldn't be comfortable putting a number of games on it I just I think we need to see how this shakes out 